Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Jeep Cherokee Trackhawk. Next to me is a Bentley Continental GT Speed convertible. And next to that is an Audi RS5. And next to that is a BMW M2 competition. And we're going to have a drag race. It's an eclectic mix of cars, but they do have quite similar performance. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Now let me tell you about these cars, starting with this Trackhawk. So it's a 6.2 litre supercharged V8, which puts out 707 horsepower and 875 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic gearbox. We've got launch control on this car. It's pretty heavy. Weighs in at just over 2.4 tonnes. Price, £90,000. Big thanks to the guy that's lent us this car. Make sure you check out his Instagram account. It's in the description. And go say thanks for lending car where the car means that we can get more cars. His name's Adam underscore underscore Tambir. Actually, that's not his name. That's just his Instagram account. Anyway, that Bentley, it has a six litre twin turbo W12 that puts out 660 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels by an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. Once again, like this guy's pretty heavy. In fact, it's similar in weight, just over 2.4 tons. It's a lot more expensive though, being a Bentley. So it costs from 200. £134,000. Next to that is an Audi RS5 Coupe. It has a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 with 450 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque, driving all four wheels for an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control. The weight of that car is just over 1.7 tonnes. It starts from £72,000. Finally, we come to the cheapest car here, the BMW M2 Competition. That has a three litre twin turbo straight six with 410 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels only for a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. It's the cheapest car here at 52,000 pounds. It weighs in at just under 1.6 tons. I want to say a big thanks to EAG Specialist Cars for lending us their car to drag race today. The link to them is in the description. Make sure you check them out as well. Now, if you want to compare these cars stats side by side, just pause the video now. Anyway, that's enough of that. But before we race, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we race, let's kick off with the customary car wow sound check. So I'm gonna rev up this 6.2 litre supercharged V8. Oh yeah, it spins up quickly to its soft limiter. Still sounds pretty good though. Let's have a listen to that Bentley. God, let me hear what £234,000 sounds like. Doesn't sound like you've got a soft limiter. Not in the Bentley, no. It revs all the way to six and a half. Ooh. Love it. Let's have a listen to the Audi. Okay, finally, let's move on to the BMW because that was embarrassing. Did that sound the best? Do you know what? Put a pinned comment below. Vote on which car you think sounded the best. Anyway, before we race, if you're thinking about selling your current car, make sure you check out Carway. You can find out how much your car is really worth. You just upload some photos and our dealers will bid on your car. And then you can just accept the highest offer and they'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money straight in your account. It's easy. Click on the pop-out button up there for the link in the description below to do that now. Or alternatively, at a later date, just simply Google Help Me Car Wow. We'll help you out. Let's do this race. Oh, just, just shot off. Can I catch the Audi? I think I'm coming past it. Come on! Now comes the Bentley. Is he going to take me on the line? That was mental, that race. Utterly mental. Okay, first up, I'm going to the Audi. You launched so well. I thought I launched well, but you launched even better. You were ahead, right? Yeah, I was ahead. BMW, always going to be hard to launch that, right? Rear wheel drive. Everyone else is uh, four wheel drive. Yeah, I think, to be fair on this, that probably made it look worse than it actually was, just because those cars are four wheel drive. This actually launched really well. Bentley. Not great launch. Why was that? I think it might be something to do with the uh, walnut forest and 70,000 cows I'm carrying with me. But uh, it didn't matter in the end, did it? I think I got to the line ahead of all of you, just. Three, two, one. Oh, it's the same thing again, the Audi. Absolutely shot off the line. And now here comes the Bentley, smashing everyone. Three, two, one. Oh, 
Oh, it's close between me and the Audi. Here comes the Bentley now, though. Okay, that was an amazing race. Got a great launch. So did the Audi and Bentley as well. I was ahead of the Audi, but it pulled it back. Yeah, it's just obviously a bit slippier through the air. <laughs> no sh**. I mean, this is like a bloody brick, isn't it? Bentley won though, right? Absolutely. Bentley smashed it. Ceaseless power in this thing. Unbelievable. And finally then over to you in the BMW. What happened? It's just out of its depth of the power here and the four-wheel drive, I guess. But it did really well. But not quite well enough. Though, to be fair, it's the cheapest by far here. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Bentley won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. The Audi just pipped the Jeep to the line, though both cars crossed in 12 seconds dead. Last was the BMW with a time of 12.6 seconds. Okay, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in their normal setting and automatic mode for their gearboxes. So I'm going to count it in. We're going to see which is quickest over the half mile. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. Oh, that Bentley's just buggered off. Oh dear. So that happened. I suppose in America, in most places, the maximum speed limit is like 55 and sometimes, if you're lucky, 65. I don't need to be going any faster. My kickdown was fine, but everyone had buggered off. In fact, the kickdown on the Audi seemed amazing. Yeah, it was quite good. Uh, I, was, I was surprised. I'm in comfort and drive, so yeah. Is that also you saying, Matt, I didn't cheat, honest? That was essentially what I just said, yeah, but without saying the words. Uh, so what happened then? Um, Bentley won, right? Did the BMW manage to get past the Audi? No, but I think I will when we're locked in manual. I think I'm going to have it then. Well, don't preempt things just yet. We're going to have to actually find out for ourselves. Now we're going to have a rolling race, this time with the cars in their sportier setting and locked in third gear, manual mode for the gearbox. I'm going to count it in. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. This picked up so well. Oh, come on. Not being dropped this time. No, the Bentley's coming past. Do you know what? This thing can keep up with those sporty cars. Bentley won though, right? Bentley did win, but it got a terrible start. Third gear in this is long, like, like really long. I don't think I got out of third until you guys were in fifth or sixth. And um, BMW, I thought you'd come past the Audi, but no. It started reeling it in and then it just leveled out. Oh, what the shit? Oh, BMW fanboys, dry your eyes. What, you're all commenting at the moment, going, well, wait a minute, it's an M2, it should be up against an RS3, not an RS5, that's not fair, but all right, all right, stop it. Let's move on. Finally then, we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Now, if you'd like to see another drag race with some crazy high-performance SUVs, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. If you'd rather watch this, stay with me now. See how I do this brake test against those cars. Oh, dear. Now, Adam, who lent me this car, did say that it needed a service and probably some new brakes. And I think that's quite evident right now, based on this result. I hope he doesn't have to do an emergency stop on his way home this evening, because it could end quite badly. Obviously, for whatever he crashes into, because this is like a tank. I can't really see what's happening from here. Um, can the Bentley tell me what the resort is back there? <laughs> so you're in the next county, as far as we're concerned. Then uh, it's me and the Bentley, uh, quite some way behind you, just behind me. So stopping in a shorter distance is the BMW. And then behind that, by uh, well, almost the entire length of the BM, is the Audi RS5. It wins this test. Wow, wow, wow. Once again, I want to say thanks to the people who have lent us these cars. You know, go check out their accounts for all the links to them because it does help us get more cars from viewers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know if some other crazy matchups you'd like to see in the comments below. We'll be checking those out and try and make them happen. Click on those windows there for some other drag race videos. And on that box there, if you want to find out how much your car is really worth, it's completely free of charge. Go do it.